Marvin42 Android. I think you're probably the only person in chat right now, but that is okay because we are going to have a grand old time motorboating around. I'm sorry, motor rafting around the uh, world that is stranded deep to see what there is to see, dive on all the wrecks, and what just happened? Oh, right, 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 right. We went to a new island at the end of the last stream. Man, I need to watch those. And remember things. Uh, in, in my defense, I was supposed to stream on Monday, but then my water pipes froze and exploded. I never got around to doing it, so... Um, forgotten a few things. Uh, don't know where I am, but at least we have our motorboat. And our gasoline. And, yeah. There we go. <laughs> so here we are. I am just wandering around to get my bearings. Okay, so... Um, if I am not mistaken, we probably need to eat and drink and uh, probably find a bandage or two before we really get serious about going on in the world. Let's chop open some coconuts. And let's see here. We need to make it drinkable. Put it down in the down our throat there, and we chop it open. Pirate Max, how you doing? Whoa, viewer count jumped up from one to six. Welcome, everybody. I don't see everyone in chat. Maybe the chat is derping out, but I want to welcome everyone to the stream. And hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday afternoon. Kind of had a weird... Interruption of my usual stream schedule on Monday, so I had kind of forgotten what I had done on Sunday. It looks like I, 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 I loaded into the world and was like, "What?" Because I, I thought there would be, you know, like a shelter and and uh, razzmatazz all over the floor, but there wasn't, and I was quite upset. We're gonna go ahead and take all the sticks and rocks that we can find, and I do believe that we did. You know, pink fluffy bunny sent you here. Awesome. Pink bunny, how you doing? Great to see ya. Did you just suddenly host me? Because Chatty doesn't tell me that. If you did, I appreciate it. Welcome everyone from Pink Bunny's chat. I appreciate you coming here. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Alright, so I'm just kind of gathering wood uh, and rocks. You need wood and rocks a lot. Crabs, you don't need the crabs. Already we are in trouble with food. Again, we're already in trouble with food. Are there more coconuts up on this tree? No. How about over here? Um, no. Are these the only two trees? No, thank goodness we've got more coconuts. I think we're... What? Oh, right, okay, well... Throw those down. Let's go ahead and go down here. You might have been, you might have hosted me. Well, welcome everybody. I appreciate that, Pink Bunny. I didn't know, I don't, you know, I didn't know you were streaming. I should have popped in and said hello. How rude of me. I don't, I don't pay attention to my Twitch page when I go live. I just log in and flip the switch. Because I'm a jerk. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be full up on food. We got some lumber. Oh, here's the sticks that I threw around. Ooh, found some more. Alright, so let's go ahead and just jump in our motor raft here and uh, be on our way. I said be on our way. Okay, we, we have to drag this into the water with the good old right click system. <laughs> okay, and now motorboat around. I do think that we came here by heading due east. I think I may be mistaken. I really should have watched my last uh, 
YouTube archive. But I didn't, because I'm a derp. It, it couldn't have been... Okay, whatever. What's this direction here? Okay, 240. Sure, why not? I feel like this is home over here. But I always feel it out wrong. Okay, ruin a cat. I'll bite. What did you get? You get a special treat if you stream this. It looks cool. Hey, this is a cool game. Really wish I brought a light with me so that people could see better. But, you know, I was a derp. I didn't... I, I, I don't know what... At what state I ended the last stream on, honestly. I streamed last on, on Sunday. It is now Wednesday. I went to bed a whole two times. Have no idea what I was doing. I do know that now that we had uh, constructed the motorboat, or the boat motor, or whatever, um, we were planned on diving on all the wrecks in the universe. But other than that, I don't think we had any real agenda. Oh yeah, I need to find a bandage. I am bitten and torn up from a shark attack. We need to figure that out. Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, that's lovely. And, and, oh, the whole series. Well, holy smokes. Alright, well, we are approaching an island here. This is not Home Island. Home Island has a very distinct lack of palm trees. Which means I am lost. Q, Q, lost title card here. Okay, well, maybe there'll be some wrecks to dive on over here. Not looking like it. Oh, there is a boat on the shore there, a wooden husk of a thing. Looks like there's something breaking the surface over there as well. It's, it's a motorboat over there. I haven't heard any shark music. Which I guess I'm going to count as a good thing. This game definitely needs some, uh, I think, some atmospheric ambiance type music for when there isn't a shark. It definitely has some good creepy use about to get... Whoa! Use about to get eaten music. When sharks are here. Um, okay, so. Hold on a second. This. Come on. Kind of glitchy. But honestly, that's the way. We're leaving a blood trail on the wall. I'm trying to get to this hard case here. I have already looted this island, it looks like. Okay. So that means. Still anybody's guess as to where I came from. We'll just back up, turn, go to the next nearest island. Yeah, I already looted all. I already looted this island. Oh, there's a shark. Must not be able to. Must I can't. Must not be able to hear the uh, shark music over the. Uh, here, let's make sure the raft is aligned with my vision here. Yeah, I have no idea where I am now. Oh, well. That's okay. <laughs> uh, 50, bring 50 Shades of Grey with you if you got stranded and stranded deep. There you go. So do I have... No, I have nothing but gasoline. I have no idea how long the tanks of gas last or if they have added fuel into the game yet. So this will be a fun experience. I don't have a paddle with me, which means that if we do get stuck on this raft, then we get stuck on this raft because I don't have any way of, uh, of paddling or, or doing anything. I guess I'll just have to swim for it, which could be exciting, you know. Okay, there's a buoy over here. 
you know, I vaguely remember a buoy last stream. These usually are in deep sea areas that are populated by great white sharks and uh, hostile marlin fish, so I'm just kind of looking around. The nice thing about this boat engine, besides not being, not having to listen to that insufferable paddle noise, is uh, I can look around in 360 degrees and still not lose my orientation. I am still headed toward that island no matter which direction I look. That is definitely a game changer there. Oh, there was a shark right there. But uh, we're moving too fast at this point. Oh yeah, I am definitely lost again. I am more lost than I ever was because I don't know what direction I went to. It is it's like I, I uh, was supposed to pick up my stream from where I was... Um, on Sunday, on Monday, but I had to miss it because my pipes exploded in my house because of the freezing temperatures and all that. Had a bunch of drama, I had to not stream, then I had to work on Tuesday so I couldn't stream, and now here I am today. Have no idea what I was doing. None. Absolutely none. All I know is that I had a motorboat raft. You know, I, I guess I could have looked at the, the previous stream archive and, and just skipped to the end and figured out what I was doing, but nope. Now we're just kind of wandering around aimlessly. Uh, this is definitely a new island right here. I kind of like it. Now that we do have a boat engine, you know, we could probably set up on a new island. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. We have the whole reason why we had the first base was um, so that we didn't have to to go looking for all the engine parts all the time. We could just stockpile them. But now, now that we are have our our uh, blah, 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 our boat, there's really no reason not to have a new base. Really, no reason at all. In fact, let's look at my watch. Um, and my inventory. Okay, we have four rocks. We need six. Well, we technically need seven. We need seven total rocks in order to start a new base. And there is a wreck here. And I think what we're going to do, I think we're, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start a new base here. This is going to be uh, Camp Charlie, because we have home base. Uh, then uh, Base Camp Beta. And now this is going to be Camp Charlie, because this is our third base in this world. Um, okay, I have the six stones I need to build. Okay. Here are the five, or the four, the seven rocks. I knew I was going to get one of those numbers right. Ooh, foggy, foggy, foggy malagi. Ugh. Yuck. All right. Let's throw, let's start crafting. Throw all this lumber down. Okay, and we've got tools to start with, so let's build a campfire. Um, try to find a scenic spot. You know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start building... Hmm, we got rocks over here that'll probably muck up the foundations. Um, would like the, the door of our base to be scenic a little bit. So, you know what? Let's stick the fire here in line with this tree. I'm going to keep that tree there, because just... Doesn't that look awesome? In fact, I'm an idiot. What I should have done is build the base out here. Keep this tree as a decoration, and we could look out on this island. Hmm. Yep, Im impulsive decision making time. Uh. There, let me, uh... Oh, you know what? I can I can build a fire, but I can't light it because I didn't take a lighter with me because I thought I'd be coming back to where my home base was. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's okay. We probably have enough... We probably have enough coconuts to, uh... deal with whatever happens. Alright. Two. Here, I'm gonna start picking stuff up. We're gonna move. We're moving! Gonna move to that little island there. Start a new scenic base. 
Hey there, Ryu. How are you doing on this lovely, lovely Wednesday? We are starting a new base because I done got losted. With very little hope of returning. I mean, we'll find our way back. It's just going to take a long time. Okay, our, we are bleeding. We need to do is find a... We need to find a lighter. Okay. Campfire. Put it, uh, like, right out here. Oh, no, no. There. And then... Oh, I'm going to take the rocks. Put these next to the fire and craft us up. Fire pit. And then, take these rocks, and then we need to build a, uh, craft up a, uh, spit for the fire. So in order to do that, we need some yucca, or some yucca. There's a yucca. Let's cut this apart for some lashings. 50 lashes with a wet noodle. And we need three sticks. I can probably find them lying on the ground still. I did not do a very good job scouring this island. I do see that there is a wreck over there. It looks like it's a very old-timey wreck, too. So that's going to be fun to look at. Um, Alright, there's another stick. Oh, and some more yucca. Some more yucca. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And... Let's see. Hmm. Probably all the sticks we'll find that way, so let's pull out our trusty axe. And uh, let's chop some, get to chopping. Get to chop a lopping. How is my health doing? Ooh. Probably eat and drink as well. Luckily, coconuts will provide us with everything that we need, and there seem to be plenty on this island. So, we, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I just need to find us a lighter and a shipwreck. And we probably shouldn't do that while it's foggy outside. Let's even, we'll even take these palm fronds. Why not? But, I so totally have more sticks than I need. Okay. Ah, the fog is lifted. What time is it? Ten in the morning. Definitely more than enough time to dive on that wreck. But let's go ahead and... I hate how this is all cockeyed. All I wanted was a non-cockeyed fire, and I, I couldn't do it. Couldn't, I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Oh, well. Okay, so that stuff will be there. Let's bring the motorboat over there as well, so that everything's in a nice spot. Um, oh, let's eat and drink. Goodness gravy, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that I'm bleeding and dying all the time. Because we definitely, we, I really need to find... In a very desperate way, I need to find some, um, uh, bandages. It's the only way to stop this slow bleed, you're gonna die effect. Yeah, that's a, a known bug with this game, or a known thing yet to be developed. Is, uh, the fact that your, your character doesn't have a body. These these hands and these, these arms are just uh, you know painted on painted onto the screen. Okay, we're full up on hydration and water, which means we will be able to uh, heal over time, even with the blood loss. Let's go check out this this uh, wreck here. Let's pull out a machete in case a shark decides to join the party. But I don't see any on the horizon. Shakalaka, welcome. Okay, we've got, alright, we've going to be one of these big wrecks. They usually have a lot of stuff. Um, pocket knife, that's nice, I guess. Toolbox, torch, that's nice, I guess. 
a lantern, and another torch. Console cabinet. More gas. That's always important. Uh, leaving blood trail behind, and we're losing oxygen. When your character starts grasping at the water like that, that means he's dying. <laughs> I don't see any sharks, but I hear shark music. Alright, so this might be our last dive right now. Not, you know, not forever, but just... Okay, I looted this area pretty well. We don't need that freaking paddle. Alright, and there is nothing back here. Let's just go ahead and pop on up. Yeah, there's creepy shark music playing. Don't know if you can hear it, but that means creepy sharks are here. Duct tape. Oh, I'd need that duct tape. You can make anything with duct tape. Okay. Whoa! Did you see that? Holy crap, I need to get out of the water. Don't you dare. Holy crap. Scared the... Sharkesis out of me. Holy moly. Weemich, welcome. Oh, yeah, you, you saw it? Yeah, man, it came, I didn't see it until it made a pass at me. Holy moly. Ugh. See, everything was going great. Just having fun in a tropical paradise, and then that had to happen. All right, well... Oh, great, I have to... Here, let's, uh, let's take our raft out. <laughs> uh, didn't find... Didn't find the uh, right kind of torch. Not one that could start a fire. Up. Beach this over here. This is where our house is going to be. Uh. There we go. Uh, we don't need all this stuff so close. Um, okay, let's just... Let's, uh, we can throw this down and use it for light. Kind of like placing furniture in, uh, Oblivion. You know, the the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Oblivion. From the Elder Scrolls series. Okay, um, let's see, how's my food and water? Okay, we got one ticket of hunger down. Um, we're gonna have to take a quick swimming jog across here. We need, like, we need a lot of wood, is basically what we need. So I need to get chopping with my axe here. And then every time, every, every once in a while, we'll just have to take a break. And, um, eat some coconuts. But we've got plenty of coconuts here on this island to last us a long time. A very long time. Okay, let's see. I'm looks like I'm caught up with chat. Excellent. Okay, stick, stick down. We'll need to bring the, bring the palm fronds. Those are important. For roofing and walls and all kinds of stuff. We're going to build a slightly bigger base than we did before, if you watched my stream previously. We built kind of a really small crap shack. And uh, this time... This time we're going to build something a little bit better. Jellyfish Creature and Death387, welcome to the stream. We are building our base. We're building our third base. I got, I got us hopelessly lost, thanks to my new little motorboat raft. Get away from me, you stupid shark. I know I'm bitten and leaving tasty blood trail in the water, but... Just gotta stop, man. Okay. Now, because I was a derp... I did not bring a hammer, so we needed those stones to make a hammer, and that used up our sticks. Well, that's just fantastic. Okay, we're gonna be in the water just a little bit. 
Oh, but that shark is out there somewhere. I hear that creepy shark music playing. Oh, man. Okay, so... Time to... Drop down some more tree. Oop. Finding sticks all over the place. And, uh, of course, I left my lighter behind. I never leave with a lighter because I think, Oh, I'll always be back home. Never occurred to me that I would get so hopelessly lost that I would never know where home was. Uh, rate it 0 to 10. Well, I mean, it's hard to rate... <laughs> it's hard to rate an early access title. Um... You know, because it is it is so early in development. It is definitely missing some content in that um, it, it, it's obvious that it's not a finished game, but everything that is here is polished and functional. It's not one of those alphas that has horrible technical glitches and you can only really play it for an hour before you get bored. Um, it's not like that at all. You, there are many, many, many hours of gameplay in here. Um, but, you know, you'll look at the screenshots for the game and just know that, you know, 80% of the things in there, in those screenshots, do not exist yet. Um, that's kind of, that's, I don't, I don't know. I, is it worth, maybe the better question, is it worth the $15 they're asking on Steam? I think it's worth the $15. Um, but that, again, is because... I embrace the idea that it's a it is an early access title and that I'm buying something that isn't complete yet and doesn't have all of its um, kinks worked out of it yet. So that's okay. Again, everything in here is polished. I mean, just look at this game. It looks beautiful, and there really aren't any glitches to to hear for, to talk about necessarily. Um, there is uh, game crashes. Speaking of which. Um, that's why I save often, but, you know, what, what game is that not true of? Hey there, Rack Savage. Um, let's see, I'm trying to gather my thoughts while I'm also gathering resources. Did I really chop up that tree? No, I didn't. Okay, now we still have, we still have some sticks here, but it's great, I mean... You build some shelter, it's really immersive. Some of the, the survival stuff isn't hooked in yet, like uh, temperature and stuff. Did we start a new map? Actually, no, we didn't. I just got hopelessly lost. <laughs> See, I started this stream without looking at the previous stream, and uh, don't have any idea where I came from. Uh, but I do know what we were doing. We were, we were using the motor motorboat raft thing to visit shipwrecks and just kind of see what loot there is to see. Um, I'm pretty sure the price will go up in the future. Um, let's see. It was the same on one island. Okay. Um, yeah, the forest, when I bought the forest, I was admittedly, admittedly disappointed. Um, because it was very, it was a technical mess. It wasn't the limited content that bothered me, it was just, it was the, it was a technical mess, the forest was. At least it was when it was released. Um, this game is still near its initial early access relief, but it is polished and, uh, basically bug-free. Everything that is in here works. So I would rate it higher than the forest at release. Now, as far as, uh, should you buy it now or wait a month or two? I mean, if you wait a month or two, there will be more game to buy. Um, will it go up in price? It will definitely go up in price as it leaves alpha and goes to beta and then goes into release. Um, will it go into price? Will it go up in price with every title update? I don't know. I think only the developer would know that. Um... My my inclination is to say that uh, you know watch a stream, watch this stream, watch an, watch watch several streams of the game. If you feel there's enough enough game there for fifteen bucks, then buy it right away, because it's not going to get uh, there's not going to be any less than this. <laughs> um, but also know that um, you know the the developer cycle. Oh, shoot. 
I need one more stick. Well, how did that happen? Darn it. I thought I had eight sticks. That's why I came back with only chopping one log. I thought there were eight sticks already on the island, but they're not. Yeah, I, I actually I actually really, really dislike H1Z1, but that's probably just me. Jellyfish the creature, welcome. Probably just a matter of taste. Uh, H1Z1 strikes me more as a PvP game and not as the uh, MMO zombie game that I thought it was going to be. Um, but, you know, that's what I get for, for buying the hype. I bought, I bought hype with H1Z1. I did not buy game, I bought hype, and that kind of disappointed me. But, that's, you know, to each their own. I know a lot of people really enjoy the, ooh. I don't know if you can see it with the stream resolution, but there is a big shark over there. Might even be a great white. So, sorry, I had to clear my throat there and mute the... Your microphone. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I don't mind PvP games. It's just that I want my PvP games to be either straight up PvP games or to be straight up um, uh, PVE games. I can't, I can't stand it when it's like a quarter PVE and then two quarters PvP. You know, PVE. It just drives me nuts. Nuts, I say, nuts. Like, I love me some Battlefield and uh, Call of Duty multiplayer and, you know, straight up players getting guns and blowing each other's heads off. That's fun to me, too. But then you have this whole system where you got some people have guns and other people just don't have any guns. And that doesn't make a very gripping PvE experience for me or PvP experience for me. It, it makes me feel like I'm playing a random number generator with a bunch of 12-year-olds. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a dodgy old 30-something person who just doesn't get what the games are these are these days. <laughs> uh, I would rather, you know, a game like this um, with either co-op or team multiplayer would be okay because... You all, you can craft your own stuff and you can do it really quick. Like, PvP in Minecraft is okay because, you know, you start fresh and you can get your, your act together pretty quickly. Whereas H1Z1 and DayZ, you could play for 20 hours and never find a sniper rifle. Or you can play for 20 minutes and find a dead guy that was never looted and walk away with a grenade launcher and the keys to a helicopter gunship. Drives me nuts. Why? Why even invest in my character if that's going to happen? That's just that's just me. I'm just I've got weird tastes. I admit it. Yeah, multiplayer. They're going to add raft wars and stuff. Yeah, they're going to add like PvP modes and a uh, co-op mode and island versus island and stuff. Like uh, that sounds like fun. Like it'll be fun. At least it, so it sounds like fun, and I'm sure it will be. Now, this game definitely has the, uh, definitely has, I think the, the, the Beam Team games definitely has the, um, technical skill to pull it together. Because, like I said, this isn't a buggy, glitchy, um, horrible mess on top of its relative incompleteness. It is a polished, functional experience, even if there's not a whole, you know, Compared to the design document, there's not a whole lot here. Okay, so we have our foundation. We've got a fairly large foundation there. Um, now we have to awkwardly pick up all this stuff because apparently it's not close enough to the foundation to give me the context menu that I want. And that's okay. Because I am no stranger to menial tasks. Okay, we're just putting supports down because these will, well, they'll support the roof. Okay, we need more sticks still. We're going to need, like, we're probably, ooh, we're almost out of palm trees over here. We might even need to go to a different island and get more sticks. 
the raft glitch. The raft glitch has been fixed. Um, they did release a hot fix and, and fix that nasty sucker up. Uh, but yeah, that was a nasty glitch. That was a nasty a glitch that happened there. You paddle your raft out for a little while and then bonk. Legal action, welcome to the stream. Rable G, welcome. Or is it Roible? I'm bad with the names. I'm just terrible. But I'm good at chopping palm trees, which is, you know, like 90% of what this game is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The way, the, the way it is now, like, I, I, you, like, I kind of figure my games to be worth about a dollar an hour. That's kind of the measure that I'd go with it. I have played this game and enjoyed it for way more than 15 hours, so... Um, I think I got, t I think I got actually 40 hours under the belt, under my belt. So, and, uh, so that, you know, puts me well below my dollar per hour enjoyment limit, so I, I would rec I would say it's a good purchase, even though it's incomplete. Um, but if you've got the say if you want to buy, you know, this game and Elite Dangerous and, uh, Home World Remastered and you, you've got other plans for your 15 bucks, I don't know if this would be, you know, the, the real... The thing that you would want to spend this, you know, this your month's entertainment budget on. Okay, so we've got all of our all of our supports down. We need this one in the middle here so it can support the roof. Um, let's see, can we go make a wall? No. We are missing some kind of critical component for the wall. I don't know what it is. Maybe it is a maybe it's a stick. Maybe the lashings aren't close enough. We definitely have more palm fronds than we need. It's probably I'd need another stick or something. Hey there, Joy Rez. I do remember you. Welcome back. Ooh, we're still bleeding to death. I gotta remember that I'm bleeding to death. It, I mean... Um, I need to find some coconuts real quick, scarf those down, get my hunger and hydration back all the way up to full. That way I can auto-heal and not die. Alright. <laughs> well, you know, and like I said, I you know, a dollar a dollar an hour for entertainment. So if you end up spending, you know, a hundred dollars on Destiny and then you play it for a hundred hours, then at least at least in my, like, personal game accounting book, you've come out with a fair deal. Okay, um, let's see. Derp, derp, derp. Yeah, there, there is no making a bandage yet, uh, shakalaka. Um, there is, there is no bandage making yet. You gotta find one, and we haven't found one yet. Um, I have been bleeding, I think I've been bleeding for half my character's life. So I've been bleeding for about 10 days. 10, 10 in-game days I have been bleeding. Um, and this is the, the... See, the arm is just all kinds of shredded. I got bitten by a shark. I was swimming around like a doofus when I should have been, you know, safe on my raft. But no, I was swimming around like a silly pants. Hmm. Well, what seems to happen, Joy Rez? Does it just not load? I have I have actually never had this game not work when I wanted it to. It only crashed on me once. Um, speaking of crashing, let's save the game real quick. Got to save every once in a while. You know, to make sure you don't lose progress. Oop. Okay. Palm leaf. Yeah, I would. I wish you could craft one with a palm leaf. That would be wonderful. But you can't. It's not in the not in the game code. Maybe some enterprising person will make a mod. But uh, not yet. It goes up to six percent and just stays there. Mm. 
My my inclination would be to just to uh, to restart your computer. I know how silly and stupid that sounds. And then restart and then restart your computer and then verify the game cache. Sometimes files get stuck in system memory and they don't load when they're supposed to. That happens with all the games I've ever played. Now that I think of it, is that sometimes they just won't work right and then I restart the computer, verify the game cache. Steam will be like, oh, there's a file that's stupid. And then it'll re-download it, and then everything's fine. Why is the file stupid? I don't know. It didn't download an update, it just decided to be stupid. Ah, computers. Aren't they wonderful? Okay, walls. Let's start putting up walls. No, let's start putting up roofs. Whoa, boom! I love that. <laughs> I kind of like that little... Um... That, that explosion there. And we want we want a roof over our head before we start getting cray cray with the building. Because that's what's going to keep us safe from the rain. The walls are kind of there for flavor, I think. But the, the roof is actually functional. <laughs> the roof is necessary. The walls, you know, honestly, we could probably have a full a wallless structure and be just as okay. Uh, I still need more... I still need more uh, sticks. <laughs> yeah, proper storage bins would be great. Like I said, there are, there are some things, there's some noticeable, like, Content missing, you know, things that would make sense like craftable bandages, storage chests, different types of housing, uh, different kinds of things you can add on to your homemade raft, not just a boat engine, but maybe a sail, you know, made out of palm fronds woven together. Uh, maybe you could make a bigger raft, you know, stuff like that, that seems like it would be necessary, but... Um, it's not there yet. There's all kinds of stuff on the blog and, and development map about things the developer wants to add. Again, this is the very first... Um, very first... Bur okay, that's right. I need sticks. Scourge, you silly... Pack. I'm not going to cut down that tree. That tree is a decorative tree. And it will not be cut down. But this tree over here... I think this is our last tree on this island. I may actually have to go to another island and chop down trees over there instead. Okay, yeah, this is the last palm tree on this island. Killian52, welcome to the stream. Well, if I if I had a mod in here, Rack Savage, I would. Although, to find the blog, I would have to Google search it and, and stop the stream for like a good two or three minutes. <laughs> um... But yeah, they're on, on Steam, on the Community Hub, the developers posted a dev blog and a um, development map and all that jazz with all the stuff that the team wants to add, Beam Team Games wants to add. Um, so, and there's just, there's all kinds of stuff there. Different kinds of wrecks, more loot, uh, more things you can build, uh, hooking up uh, temperature and wetness to the survival system, because right now all we have are hunger and thirst. Um, working, uh, working on getting some sleep as an actual survival mechanic. Stuff like that. I don't necessarily have a exhaustive list, but that's what sticks out in my mind as being both particularly needed and what they were going to work on. <laughs> I volunteer as mod tribute. <laughs> well, I have... Uh, see, the ir irony is, is that I have like five or six mods. And usually when I stream my main games, like uh, Elite Dangerous and uh, Kerbal Space Program, I get a good crowd in here, and the mods show up and help me out. And they're great, go they're great gals and great guys. But for whatever reason, when I stream off games like this game, uh, my regulars don't usually show up, and my mods don't either. <laughs> I, don't, I don't necessarily blame them because they're volunteers, you know? They probably have stuff to do. Their own, they have their own streams to manage, you know, whatever they need to do. Not really a complaint. It's just I'm just telling you how it is. 
when a streamer when a streamer needs information and there's no mods, then stuff just doesn't get done. Okay, now we need to find out which direction we want to face. Uh, have our have our uh, opening face because we want to have a good view. Now, I was going to like originally I was going to have the fire be where our door was, but I hate the fact that it's like on this weird angle. And maybe I don't want to look at it. <laughs> um, so maybe I will want to put a wall up over on this side and then look out towards the sea on another angle here. In fact, maybe having this side, this side right here be open would be best. I think that's the way we'll do it. That's the way we'll do it. Well, another thing that they need to add is a way to deconstruct buildings. Because once I put a wall down, uh, that's it. I can't knock it down. Can't do anything. Now Now this is forever sealed. I can never look out this direction ever. I can't knock it out. Can't get rid of it. It's there. So I have made my decision. I have made my bed, and now I must lie in it. Um, okay, we just have supports there. We need to go get some palm fronds. Did I have anything in my inventory? I do have more sticks and palm fronds. You cannot pick up anything that you have placed down that is a craft or a buildable item. You cannot. It is verboten for some reason. Okay, uh, maybe if I move this palm frond onto the pile. Nope. Okay, we need more sticks. Uh, let's go make one last final pass over here to make sure I didn't miss any uh, uh, trees that I chopped down. But I think this island is, is done in terms of resources. <laughs> we, we used them all. Oh, no. Whoa. We got one right there. Okay, and we have more palm fronds for us to gather here. Up your muck luck. Welcome to the stream. You could theoretically lock yourself in. That is right. You could lock yourself in. I. That is that. There is a way to end a playthrough. Building your house and then you forget to leave an open side. As you can also see, one of the problems with the game that I was hoping is fixed um, is the level of distance or the level of detail distance. Like, uh, it starts popping out. You know, really just feet away. I think I'm like a hundred feet away. It's not that much. So you have to be right on. T if you are looking for your own base camp, you have to be right on top of it in order for you to see it. Okay. So still doing well on the survival aspect. We're not dead yet. That's always good. Is climatic event implementing like tornado tsunami? No, there isn't like, uh, there is weather, but all it does right now is it changes uh, the soundscape. In other words, it may adds noises for you to be concerned about, and it also a affects your vision. But there's no nothing like a flood or um, gale force winds or anything like that. Um, it's just, just rain and fog, and it just kind of alters your vision. Which is actually pretty disastrous. I mean, I've gotten... Um, I've been on stream where I've been pl paddling my little lifeboat and a storm would roll up and then I have no idea where I am because the view distance just goes right into the crapper. So they're pretty devastating, but I would really like to see flooding. Um, I would really like to see uh, some kind of wind effect as well that blows uh, loose items around. Which would be another reason why you need to build like a storage bin to keep your loose items from getting blown around and washed away. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of the um, like the level of distance stuff. There's a bunch of stuff on the like the game is so early in development, there's a bunch of stuff on the options menu that are grayed out because they just haven't had an option for it yet. Um, so I'm I'm guessing that you know level of detail, distance, and or view distance, however you want to talk about it, I'm sure that's going to be an option that you can eventually mess around with. Right now, it seems like it's forced onto whatever the lowest setting will ever be. 
Okay, so it looks like we might actually have enough stuff to finish. Finish the house. Okay, and just want more walls. Okay, and wall. Alright, now we kind of do have a decision to make. Uh, should we leave it should we leave it open both sides or should I wall in one of these? Hmm. You know, I'm trying to decide what would look better. Again, if I make a decision and it turns out to be the wrong one, then we are in trouble. Turn the lamp on. There's a shark out there. Hi, Sharky. I don't hear any shark music. Isn't that funny? I don't hear any shark music. But here you are, right on the shore. Why don't you come over here? I'm waiting in the water. I need I need me some shark meat. Of course, I can't cook it right now, can I? So I guess I shouldn't take him on. Never mind. Panoramic view it. All right. Sounds like a sounds like a vote. So we'll leave this open all the way. Um Yeah. Okay. I I guess we'll call it done then. Uh now we need to go looking for bandages and we need to eat some food and some water before we leave. So let's go ahead and hop in our raft, drag it out into the water. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the two jerry cans. Again, I don't know if fuel is even implemented in the game yet, but the jerry cans are supposedly a fuel item, so... Go ahead there. Whoop! The, the turn radius on this boat is... or on the motorboat raft thing is just terrible. I'm going to turn it so that we don't get beached here. Okay, we are going to pull up to this coast here, grab some coconuts, and then go exploring. Now that you watch me for about an hour of building a house, it's time to go watch an hour of floating around on Waterworld. What? Why, why is it still playing that noise of the engine? Okay, whatever. That is an infinite substitute. How do I get the game cash to fix itself? Um, yeah, I would I would uh, restart your computer if you haven't. And then in your Steam library, right-click the game. Properties. Local files. Verify in verify cash in credit in integrity. And then it'll, it'll check it all. And that'll be great. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to... Get these coconuts ready to drink. Then we're gonna... Oh, we need to make a bed. Okay. Well, well, we'll get these things ready to eat and drink then. And then we will make a bed. And then that will chew through the night. I don't want to leave at night. Boring to watch at night. I mean, let's be honest. Because you don't see anything. So what we need to do is we need to make a bed... Do we have more materials? Yes, we do. Okay. We've got, we've got, probably we've got just the right amount of material to make a bed. That is importanto. Yeah. Thank you, Rack Savage. Okay. We've got all that. And we might need more lashing. So hack this yucca plant. Grab some rope, uh, but we can't... Uh, darn it. Uh, I need to drop something, but I don't wanna. Alright, these are pretty big and obvious. I'll be able to find them again. Hi, shark. I'm just gonna take a quick dip. Don't get any ideas. And then we'll drop all this stuff over here. And we'll make a bed. Yay! And ironically enough, you cannot 
You cannot stick your bed inside your house. You've got to stick it outside your house. This is another thing I hope they improve upon. Um, see, I'll put my I'll put the derp bed by the derp fire, and then yeah, we won't hopefully yeah we won't have to look at it. Then we shall sit. Let's grab our gas cans before I forget. Take out our machete in case a shark comes to play. I hear the shark music still, but I don't know where the shark is. It's okay, Joy Res. Right click the game in your library. Go to properties. Local files. Verify uh, cache integrity. That's all you gotta do. It'll tell you if the game is corrupted or not. Is that a shark right there? No, that's a that's a rock. Never mind. Okay. So everything is good here. Well, we don't need it. We don't need to take light with us. We're going. We're going to bed. <laughs> we don't need to take light with us to do that. Okay, we got food. We don't need a hammer. Um, yeah, we might need a weapon and a compass. Okay, so let's sleep. Banish the night with sleeping. Alright, we are... It is dawn. And we are famished. Let's eat and drink. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Alright. Potato plant. We can use this to get easy, cheap food. Wolf these down. Alright. We probably need one more coconut worth of stuff. And then we can just be on our way. Alright. Now it's just a matter of finding our raft. Have food on us. Wait. I didn't eat these. There we go. We got food on us. We got drink on us. We were ready to go. Oh, wait. Right. Let's turn this off so I can think. Um, let's head... Uh, what's... Is this? 70 degrees northeast. 70 degrees northeast is where we will head. Okay. Yep. 70 degrees northeast. Come on. Come on, raft. Do it, do it, do it, do it. And yeah, the turn radius is terrible. It's like driving a truck. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Going good. Going good. Ah. It's a it's a tab that says local files after in the properties menu. A tab on the top of the screen. See where we're headed. Lonely little island with the one palm tree on it. Oh, I should have played some lonely. Oh, whoa! Hey there, swordfish. How you doing? Don't tip my raft raft over. You know how I much I hate that. What, what was that? We're still heading in the right direction. Did you see that lighting change all of a sudden? I had, I mean, wow. Big old shark over there. I haven't found a whale yet. Oh, 
Okay, wow, there's a nice island up here. Nice and big and has plenty of trees. Gotta have a wreck up here somewhere. Alright, jellyfish, welcome back. Striker Jack, welcome to the stream. I guess a new midday occurred during a ridge transit. Yeah. There's all that stuff down there. Is that... Uh, what is that? It looks like a... Something looking at me from below the water. Okay, here is a boat. Go see what this is all about. Not even gonna stop on the island. We got plenty of food and water with us. All right, it's off. Weapon out. Another pocket knife. Not a whole lot of good loot so far. Was there another box? I thought I saw another. Oh, cabinet, cabinet, cabinet. Oh, oh, a bandage. Oh my god. Oh, we've needed this for like a hundred years. Oh, it's so glorious. So glorious.